three identical uniform spheres are released from rest at the top of three inclines. The three inclines, they all have the same height, same angle, but different textured surfaces. Incline A has big enough mu s so the sphere can roll without slipping. Incline B has friction, but the coefficient of friction is too small, so the sphere rolls with slipping down the incline. Incline C has no friction at all. Rank from high to low, the total kinetic energy, the speed and the angular speed of the spheres when they reach the bottom of the inclines. When the sphere rolls without slipping, the friction is static friction, and this static friction does not do any work, and it does not take any mechanical energy away to turn it into heat. For B, because the sphere is slipping, that means uh, the friction is kinetic friction. This kinetic friction does work and takes energy away and, and turns some of the mechanical energy into heat. If there's no friction, there's no friction to take mechanical energy away to turn it into heat. So the ranking for the total kinetic energy is uh, A equals to C and bigger than B. Because uh, for both A and C, no mechanical energy is lost to heat. However, for B, there is some mechanical energy being lost to heat. As for the speed at the bottom of the incline, C would have fastest speed because uh, there is no friction. So what will happen to the sphere is that it is not going to roll at all. It's just going to slip all the way down, which means uh, all of the mgy is going to turn into one half mv squared because it is going to only do translational motion. There is no friction to provide a torque. So there is no rotational motion. Since the translational motion 1 half mv squared gets all of the mgy, so it's v, the linear speed should be the highest at the bottom of the incline. For b, we know some of the mgy will turn into heat. And because it's going to roll with slipping, so some of the energy will also turn into rotational kinetic energy. So not all of the initial mgy will turn into the translational kinetic energy at the bottom of the incline. For incline A, the sphere rolls without slipping. So the initial mgy turns into both translational kinetic energy and the rotational kinetic energy, but not heat. So we know C has the largest speed at the bottom of the incline, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell whether A or B has a larger speed at the bottom of the hill. Because although we know the translational motion does not get all of the initial mgy, but we don't know how much of the initial mgy is turned into translational kinetic energy at the end. So to compare the final speed for A and B, it may be easier for us to look at the forces instead of energy. We're looking at the translational motion, so we can just look at the forces. We don't have to worry about the torque for this part. If we draw the forces along the incline, we would have mg sine theta. And this one also the same mg sine theta. For that one, we also have friction going up the incline. But the friction is less than mg sine theta, so the sphere can accelerate down the incline. For this one, the friction is even smaller, which means uh, this one has a smaller net force going down the incline. That one has a little bigger net force down the incline. So they start from rest at the same height, and this one has uh, a larger acceleration down the incline. This one has a smaller acceleration down the incline just because this one has a larger friction than that one. Therefore, the one with the larger acceleration would end up with a faster speed after the same displacement. So the final speed is C is the fastest, and then B, and then A. To compare the angular motion, we will have to look at the torques. 
and that means we'll have to draw the forces at the points of application. For the spheres on the incline, friction is the only force that can provide a torque. This one has the largest friction. This one has the smaller friction. That one has no friction. The largest friction can provide the largest angular acceleration. This one has a smaller angular acceleration. This one has no angular acceleration. So A would come down with the fastest angular speed. And then it's B, and then it's C, and for C, the angular speed at the bottom of the incline is zero because there's no friction to provide a torque. That means uh, the sphere is not going to roll at all.